Right, hello everybody, welcome to my Blitz Pit game number four in the losers bracket versus Colian XXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXXX
and if one side's getting knockdowns and the other side's rolling skulls, it's uh, it's not easy. A cheeky dodge there. <laughs> that was in danger of getting surfed, wasn't it? Just push to there and out. So you're taking the block there in order to blitz the uh, runner, presumably. Mighty blow, three dice. No, he's coming back. Oh yeah, the Troll Slayer, even better. <laughs> well, yeah, kills it, because I, you know, I think I think Corian must have uh, must have played it well. Just the fact that I never, or I played it badly. The fact that I never could really capitalise on his uh, lack of guard. But yeah, maybe it's a lot of dice rolling, I don't know. There is obviously a lot of dice rolling, there's just the whole teams, all the teams have just got loads of guard. And it's just punching things, isn't it? There's not a lot of, uh, there's not a lot of interesting tactics, it's just <laughs> make as many two dice blocks as you can every single turn, isn't it? With Mighty Blow, if you can. Droplets this way with the transfer. I should do. Oh, have I done all my blitz already? Oh, he was blitzing. He was dodge blitzing. He was dodge. Oh, I was five plus dodge blitz the ball. Yeah. <laughs> I remember doing this now. I wasn't. I was a bit frustrated overall. Because I think because I just wasn't getting any knockdowns and stuff, and all my players were tied up, and I didn't really have anything in the way of the ball. Um, so I just think I kind of like, you know, I've got so many players over here, and so few players over here, the stuns and stuff. I just thought, if I get this five plus, I've got tackle on him, right? So I might, I might just power him, and if I power him, then it looks pretty good, doesn't it? But. Uh, I just thought, I'll stay down, right? My thinking was, this is my thing, I'll be honest. My thinking here was, I'll go for this 5+, plus, and if I fail it, I'll just lie down. Because, you know, I'm, my, my team's completely corralled, right? It's taken two mighty blow hits every turn. I've got, like, two players standing. Three players standing. So I think I'll just lie down after this. But, then I realised I can't just lie down. Because if I just lie down, he's going to foul with dirty play until he gets sent off, isn't he? So like a huge gang foul with a dirty player every turn wasn't something that I wanted. So then after doing the stupid five plus, which kind of killed the drive, then I realised I couldn't actually just stay down, <laughs> and I had to uh, try to fight at least a bit. So yeah, that was a bit of a bit of a cock up. <laughs> So now I'm just trying to fling everything back and try to get in the way as much as possible. <laughs> after after pissing the defence away on a stupid five plus. <laughs> but I mean it probably wasn't that bad odds to work, right? A five plus five plus. Let's have a look. Let's have a look on Samba. Twenty-five percent. So I was about twenty-five percent to maybe maybe stop the score in this drive. That would mean pretty good. I had two chances though, Kales. I had to do two right. It was five plus to hit the ball as well. It was five plus to knock the ball over because he had block. So. <laughs> <laughs> Danny doing it was both five pluses. If I'd done both five pluses, the ball's on the ground and he was actually in a pretty bad spot. So I had a twenty five percent chance to put in a bad spot. Was it worth it? Arguable. There's a double score. Because I couldn't really reach the ball. 
So yeah, it was just, it was just it was just a it was just a bad mistake thinking that I could lie down and then realizing lying down versus a death roll that gets you fouled by dirty player every turn. <laughs> Gang fouled by dirty player every turn. So maybe I should have. Um, you know, looking back, obviously I should have just played hard defense and stopped. Done my best to stop him breaking through because he's dwarves. So there you go. Absolute mess. Because that's the thing, and also, like, if you concede the drive, then you have to score on your drive as well, don't you? It's like. I didn't even put anyone near the ball. It was just a bad turn, that one, but, uh. I don't know. I didn't realise I had to make that dodge, I think. Oh yeah, and five plus, five plus with the reroll was fifty five percent. I knew that because that's the chance of uh, putting you know pounding somebody on a two dice block. So I should have corrected you on that as well, but didn't because I was thinking about this game. But um, yeah, it's just hard. You know, it, it was hard. I didn't, I didn't have great dice. To be fair, I didn't have great dice, but I did make a fundamental error of giving up the drive and then not giving it up because I didn't want to get dirty player fouled every turn. So yeah, this is uh, asymmetrical. This side is under the grass and this side isn't. I wonder if that's intentional. No, it doesn't piss us off, no. It's, cause you, you get all the block as well, don't you? So it's like all the teams have their pros and cons, don't they? Like it's a bit of a shock sometimes if you if you've been playing a bit with wood elves and then you you know then you go to dwarves it can be a bit of a a bit uh, a bit of adjustment can be required but yeah that's the thing people like to um people like to say that elves are the big brain teams. But, <laughs> you know, they're not really, at the end of the day, provided you're not terrible at Blood Bowl. Um, you know, let's say you're Elves versus Chaos. The Chaos positioning has to be perfect to stop at the uh, Dark Elves getting an easy chance, right? Or the Wood Elves. Whereas the Elves can be, do almost what they want on defense. Because, <laughs> you know, they've just got to, you know, and then wait for their chance. And then once they get their chance, they've just got to... Uh, they just go in and get you, don't they? So roll some dice and win, probably. So yeah, it's uh, zoomers. But I mean, I really, I really messed up here. I should have. I just went completely wrong tactics, and uh, can't really blame the bad dice. Although the dice were bad, uh, it was my it was my bad play of not defending the touchdown. It was unthinkable, really. Especially knowing how hard it is for dwarves to score, you know. So, yeah. I really should not have done that. <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it, to be honest. Uh, this was the second day, so I wasn't as mentally fatigued as I was in the third game, but uh, I wasn't feeling great. Yeah, Pedro's a bit of a bit of a meanie dobbler. He's a bit of a meanie. 
<laughs> yeah, he's a bit, he's a bit of an asshole, but it's all right. He's Scottish. What do you expect? <laughs> Get the ref. Thank God that happened after the uh, roller was already sent off here. <laughs> Brutal. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Dobler. It's nice when people are nice, isn't it? <laughs> Although people, you know, mates take the piss out of each other. It is nice when people are nice, you know, when, uh, when people leave... When people leave nice messages on the YouTubes and everything, I always think, oh, that's nice. This is a very uh, brutal LOS smashing here, isn't it? I don't know how to do movement 6 1 turn, I should probably learn. I didn't even attempt it there. And you know, maybe it wasn't worth trying, but maybe it was. I would have rolled a push, and then a power, and then a push, and then a power, so it would have failed anyway. <laughs> Thanks, Pedro. That's an interesting formation, isn't it? All of his guns together. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's true, Kills. It, it would be epic to score a movement six one turner as well. But I mean it's arguable whether it's worth it, right? Because it's so unlikely when you don't have dodge as well, when you're agility three and don't have dodge. It would be a 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus for the dodge throughs. So I take the double skull here, because I've got 3 in this overtime. But maybe I should have rerolled that, because it's already put me on the back foot of my own drive, isn't it? So maybe I should have rerolled that. And got the ball in hand and everything, and. Not just left myself in an absolute fucking awful position. So I, yeah, I guess you can say, I know Johnny Five wouldn't have uh, wouldn't have not re-rolled that. And this is good play by Colian, isn't it? I mean, you know, as you would expect from the number one ranked dwarf player in CCL, he's put this under a lot of pressure, and probably wasn't worth saving my re-roll for this, was it? At the end of the day, probably wasn't worth saving my re-roll. Of course, you want your rerolls for overtime, but on the other hand, you've got to get to overtime. <laughs> so, like, you know, to be fair, rationing out my rerolls, I did have to ration them out over two hearts potentially. This is the thing, best case scenario is overtime for me, isn't it? This is the problem now with giving up my offensive drive. Defensive drive. After giving up my defensive drive. And he does have a non guard here, so he has like. He's got the throwaway players to, to like throw away, hasn't he? Which I don't really, with all my guys being guard. Um, this is a good trade for him, isn't it? Because he has got lesser value players to put on. You know, I mean, I don't know, I'm trying to speak. Work with me here. <laughs> Just imagine I'm speaking English. This was a bit wild, doing the frenzy trap. Maybe I just shouldn't have made the block at all. But got away with it. Chiggy 1D there. <laughs> Into an AV break. And an upskirt. Classic dwarves. <laughs> so it's looking like there's a decent chance of a breakaway this way now, isn't there? Where 
We could have had a one D on the ball there if he wanted, couldn't we? Could have just not followed and had a one D on the ball. I might, I might have done that, to be honest. I don't feel like his blitz is going to be amazing. Oh, he's just going to get all the pals. No, he still can't get there though, can he? he can't get through. If he got a removal there, he could have... Ah, no, there was a guard there as well. I do know Alice, yes. Oh, oftentimes I've forgotten. So where's his blitz coming then? Just this pretty irrelevant, really, I guess. I don't like this. I, I think I would have preferred the one be on the ball. Because I am unprotected, right? So it was a three plus to... Three plus a four plus... Yeah. A four plus. I don't know why I'm saying the wrong thing every time. A four plus to get the ball was all right, wasn't it? I mean, you obviously you couldn't re-roll it. So Skull would... He could have done it last. Skull wouldn't have been very good. We managed to do a good job of getting... Getting, like, up ahead of me there with the guards as well. Just not risking GFIs. But then have to do these, and again, I probably just don't reroll, right? No. And maybe that was worth re-rolling and punching this guy. So these are two things that maybe I should have... I should have definitely re-rolled the first double skull. But there comes a point where... <laughs> there's no point saving re-rolls for overtime if you're not going to get there. Thick skull again. There was one in the first half, wasn't there, where he used the stand firm to get additional blocks, which was good play. I mean, Cody did play, play, probably played, well, not probably. Um, I definitely felt that Cody played better than me this game, for sure. Yeah, so, he was, so it ends up that these two players are down instead of his guy being down. And then he reminded me about the bribe by fouling him. But <laughs> I had to knock someone over to be able to foul, <laughs> which, which is a big ask. But again, there should be a way to get forward here, shouldn't there? He should have blitzed. He should have. He should have blitzed. There. And then he could have got forward, he could get forward. You know, I can get forward a little bit here. I think I... I think he should have done the blitz and not him. And then these two could have been further up the field. Having to do the desperation one days now. That's a brutal, brutal kill. Oh, good, good, clever, clever Jim using the power apple. <laughs> Yeah, now everyone's based up, stunned, not prone, and it's just there's nothing, nothing I can do, is there? It's just, it's just awful. <laughs> it's just awful. I 
Yeah, blitz. I probably should. I think I should. What I should have done was one, two, three, four. GFI to one D him, and then potato. I think that was my only play, honestly. Because this doesn't really achieve anything, does it? Knocking him over and like, how do I score? How do I score from here? <laughs> Oh, my plan was to was to pow him, chin him to there, and then dodge him out. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> I believe that was my plan. <laughs> At least nothing to learn from Chen. So yeah, turn th turn. I've got three turns left, and I'm in my own half still. And players down. No, equal players. Oh yeah, did I afford that? Players down. <laughs> Which is unlucky because he only had 11 players, right? With uh, this one getting sent off. Yeah, maybe I should have potatoed last turn. It wouldn't have been great, but it would probably be better than having no chance. Which is essentially what there is now. Another removal. And that there is basically the nail in the coffin this turn, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> I do get the 2D to potato this time. Get a, get a nothing. <laughs> I think now my plan is uh, is 1D, 1D, and Potato with the uh, Slayer. Oh no, get him over the halfway line. I didn't even get him over the halfway line. Yeah. And that's what my desperation rerolls are for. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I probably should have GFI, not GFI, I got over the halfway line there. Oh, why I didn't. Probably because I was thinking he could hit me. Yeah, he could probably hit me there, couldn't he? <laughs> now he collapses all this in. So that's all shut down that side. So now my only play is the troll slayer, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. The only chance is some kind of crazy play with the runner or a crazy play with his troll slayer. And he's left the troll slayer play on. He has left it on. 1D into 2D and potato away. That's pretty good. That's pretty good odds. Honestly, <laughs> as far as as far as this driver went, that was pretty good odds. I think. And then failed the extra GF ball. and stunned. But I mean, you know, <laughs> you'd have got there. You couldn't have been based. And then I could have just gone there, lobbed it to him. So then I conceded because there was only one turn left and I had no scoring threats. There was no need to uh there was no need to play out the next two turns, was there? Um So yeah. Uh <laughs> you got more blocks. And you know, honestly when I was playing it I just felt like I played a bit crap and I don't think I did. I think I think Colian played well more than I played crap. Um and you can see the block dice here. I didn't even notice the block dice. So you've got 52, 55, 48, Colian. And then for me, I had 27 pat skulls and 22 pushes. <laughs> 47, 22, 32. So my, my dice were awful. Honestly. They were awful, the block dice. But, <laughs> all these skulls all the time. But, you know, even apart from that, the dodges were terrible. The GFIs weren't good. Um, the armor was poor. My armor was 77. Uh, his armor was 77 as well, though. But, um, 
Yeah, exactly. So, you know. It, it, I, I didn't really notice the dice. I genuinely didn't notice the dice. Um, that was the thing. So, like, you know, afterwards, people were like, wow, your dice were terrible. Uh, Colian said, wow, your dice was terrible. And I think Volpe's cast it live. He said, what do you think about all them scores you rolled? And I'm like, I didn't even notice. I genuinely didn't notice. I just felt like I didn't play well enough. So, all credit to Colian. And uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.